Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter, is back, and this time he's built a messaging app that doesn't even use the internet or cell towers. Instead, it uses Bluetooth. It's called BitChat, and it's built on a beautifully simple yet brilliant idea. What if your phone could talk to other phones directly without relying on the internet, Wi-Fi, or cellular towers, and also help messages hop from one device to another to reach other distant users? Well, that's exactly how BitChat works using something called Bluetooth Low Energy (BLE) mesh networks, where every phone becomes a node and the system becomes the network. So when you send a message on BitChat, your phone splits it into tiny chunks of data packets using LZ4, a lossless data compression algorithm, and broadcasts them over Bluetooth using BLE advertisements. These are basically short-lived low-power signals with a strict 31 by payload limit. Now, if the recipient is nearby around 30 meters, their phone simply picks up these chunks and reassembles them into the original message. But what if the recipient is out of range, say 100 meters? Well, that's when all other nearby devices running BitChat quickly pick up those chunks and transmit them using their own Bluetooth signal, creating a mesh-like BLE network. This way, your message hops from phone to phone until it eventually reaches the intended recipient. And mind you, these messages are end-to-end -end encrypted, so only the sender and recipient can read them. Plus, since BitChat stores these message chunks only in RAM and not on disk, each chunk also has a time to live limit, so it expires after some time as well, ensuring privacy. Now, of course, there are limitations. The range is short, and the architecture relies heavily on network density. But even then, the social implications are massive. Any scenario, say during natural disasters or infra shutdowns, where internet access is cut off, could use Bit to communicate. And if BitChat ever reaches scale, it could finally democratize communications infra.